Let's see, see, see. We got Dr. Mike. Dr. Got some very young TikTok advice. New fear unlocked. Climbing the rope at the gym. Oh my God. What happened? Oh, that is really scary. I would probably relax oh, my arms a bit and just dead hang at that point. Final destination is real. Oh my God. What Honestly, happened? this is one of my biggest fears. What Not happened? just with a piece of wood like this that obviously can happen. Oh, that's what happened. What about when it's cold and ice freezes over on those trucks and they don't clean it off? <laughs> And then as a result, giant icicles are flying at you 70 miles an hour. I always have a fear of that. I'm always looking out. I got a call from one of the staff. A lady's had a heart attack in the middle of a cooking class. So I ran down. I was there in three minutes. The lady's lying on the ground. And you started chest compressions, chest compressions, chest compressions after calling for help. There's a guy holding a pulse. He said, the pulse is gone. Chest compressions. I said, quick, cayenne pepper. On no, pepper. not cayenne pepper. <laughs> you know what? Wait, hold on. It's half conscious. The story is already full bullshit. You cannot. So, no, no, it's, it's fake then. Can you say a pulse was gone? Be without a pulse and be half conscious and have someone be able to drink water. If you're pulseless, that means your heart is not beating. That means you are not conscious. All the color came back into her cheeks and she sat up and said, what happened? That she had a vasovagal response to something. This is the best love. Cayenne pepper. No need to you do need warfarin, depending on your medical condition. This is the problem when people speak out of turn and not know what the heck they're talking about. Patients who have atrial fibrillation, whose right. hearts beat irregularly, the blood that's in the heart stagnates and can form a clot. And then that clot ends up shooting into the brain, creating a stroke. In young people, this happens. This is devastating. Strokes have lasting effects, if not lethal effects. And this lady, instead Strokes of happens in your you heart. to take a medication that will prevent the clot from forming through proven scientific research. It does come with risks, legitimate risks, Stroke but happening anything that actually works comes with risks. Says you can replace it with cayenne pepper that has almost no risk outside if you're maybe allergic to it or something. And she thinks that's gonna work better. Bro, come on, stop with this nonsense. No need. <laughs> no need for your video. <laughs> Delete it off social media. It has been shown today that aspirin causes Brain bleeds. Yes, aspirin causes brain bleeds because it actually thins your blood. This is <laughs> this very, very safe it. with no side effects. Because it doesn't work. Patients, I don't need a chiropractor. I can do it myself. Oh, wow. Okay, this is, I, why would you do this? Is this like some kind of myofascial treatment? I'm so confused. <laughs> Oh, he's showing how strong he is? I would just never do this. You risk damaging so many vital tissues for no reason. And something bad happened. What happened? I'm so nervous right now. What happened? Oh. I literally got it. Oh my God, that's a that's a very serious edematous response, probably allergic response. Yo, hold up. I don't know where to put my face cam at. I'll put it back down. Potentially infectious. I would need IV Yo, what happened? What did she Ooh. do? What kind of lipstick did she put on? Literally got oh my God, that's a that's a very serious edematous response, probably allergic response, potentially. You allergic to lipstick? I would need IV steroids. There you go. Dark Mike's talking about CVS. I know you work at CVS. Thanks. Or shop at CVS. Do you love Gantt charts? Dark Mike's sponsored by. Here's how Clickbook? easily you I can know build use that. one and click it in a situation like this, not just oral. Unfortunately, I see this happening more and more with unregulated people Good doing injections because people think they would save money and they'd go to this individual. Please, please, please only go to certified, legitimate doctors doing this. Oh no, not another one of these videos. Come on. You oftentimes see boxers do this uh, with the medicine ball. <laughs> It looks like he's tickling him. It looks like he's ball tickling to him. To strengthen the abdominals, to allow you to breathe uh, easily with a tight abdominal. Like he, yeah, Here, tickle. they're just doing it once. You're not getting anything from that. You're not toughening people up. So that one was purely for show. I think I messed okay, is it, is this up. It's in your nose. <laughs> We use something in medicine called a rhino rocket, which almost acts like a tampon to tamponade really bad nosebleeds. It probably just dried up in there. That's why it's stuck. It's not actually stuck from all the pressure. If you use sauna one day a week, your risk of dying of all things goes down like 30 to 40%. It does? I have patients that die of legitimate things 
Imagine if I told them like, yo, there's a gym in, down the block that if you use their sauna, you just cut your chance of dying by a third. No, it does not go down 30 to 40%. It's the same as when we start looking at these ridiculous studies that say, if you eat 12 almonds a day, you're, you extend your life by 14 years. No, it does not work by this level of extrapolation. You have to be honest of what will you do with statistics. If you use sauna three times a week, you never die and you're superhuman. Why don't you just stay in the sauna for 10 it, hours and see what happens? Bro. Guess what? You die and your whole thing falls flat on his <laughs> face. Dude, they must think he's a joke or something. I'm comparing my hand to someone else's. It looks like a big hand. And it's going to be my wife. Swollen. Since she's handy. Why is your hand swollen? You broke it? Wow. He has a very big hand or his wife has a really little hand. Oh, wow. He has really big hands. Is this like lymphedema? He's, uh, he's swollen. Or he yeah, swollen. I know hands. he's swollen. Jeff Dabe, he's from Minnesota, mm -hmm. and he was born with these giant hands and arms like Popeye. And University of Minnesota has tested him extensively, and there's no idea what's going on. Wow. Just so no, no medical reason, just genetically unique. Do you have a really, really bad sore throat where it hurts to swallow? The number one cause of a really sore throat is a viral infection. A lot of people think they need antibiotics for a sore throat. That's not always the case. We only give antibiotics for strep throat. And why we give it specifically for strep throat is to prevent the complications of strep throat, like rheumatic fever. This is one of the things in Chinese medicine that we do that's really simple. Okay, I'm always down for a tip that has nothing to do with antibiotics. So let's see where she's going with this. So what you're gonna do is actually prick to bleed um, lung 11. Come on, man. Huh? Honey, tea, chicken noodle soup, salt water gargles. Why are you pricking anything? Just give me what's any a, logic prick? behind this. Here, you take it and you just poke. What's a prick? And you create an opening for an infection. And the effects of it would be very immediate. No, they wouldn't be very immediate. Because if you could, you would study this and you would prove that this works immediately because it's such an easy thing to study. And you don't because it doesn't work. RNA all by itself. Yep, RNA single stranded. And then we need to mirror it. <laughs> They're dancing. There is the DNA bond created in harmony. 13 yards. Oh my gosh. Oh! Ow! Ow! A lot of vital structures in there. Prostate, perineum, blood vessels, testicles. Ice skating training is wild. Oh yeah, this is incredible. Oh my god, I She's would a so badly. Oh my God, the disequilibrium is affecting me. I mean, I could see why you would need to train because they do similar stuff like that on skates all day Who's she, long. a ballet dancer? The NBA is back. Dr. Mike talking about this. fan, do I know you go eat bad? The worst luck. Okay, we have a baseball batter at a batting cage. What happened? What happened? He struck out. What? He struck out. Oh! Took one right to- What happened to the first one? Batting cage. Got hit. The worst He struck luck. out the okay, first one. Baseball bat. At a batting cage. What happened? Oh well. Get ready what? to learn Chinese, buddy. Oh! Took one right to the jaw, right to the mandible. Fracture. Ow. Some push up bars. Ooh, okay. Dip into. Ooh, that's hard to do. Oh! Yeah, that hurt. I mean, that wasn't that great of a distance. Dang, that hurt. If you're older age, usually younger people won't be an issue. You could get a severe compression fracture of your spine, which is so painful. Also, you, you're you at risk for a disc bulge or a disc herniation, which are those soft padded sacs. And the, this, this thing Ben Simmons has? Cushioning in between the vertebrae, in between the bones. Workouts to do as an ER nurse. <laughs> CPR, that's good on the BOSU ball. You know, it'll help uh, strengthen the triceps, the back. This form is perfect, I would say. When I get a piercing random pain under my left boob and I try to breathe fully. Sometimes this can happen as a result of precordial catch syndrome. It happens in young people where it feels like you can't really take a full breath because there's like a weird pain that happens under your rib. Also can happen yeah. with uh, yeah, a spasm. I get that. That's what it's called. I get that all the time. Full breath because there's like a weird pain that Ever since I was seven years old, it feels like party out of core catch syndrome. You can't really take a full breath because there's like a weird pain. Yeah, it happens in young party article catch syndrome. So it's normal. Feels like 
you can't really take a full breath because there's like a weird pain that happens under your rib. Also can happen with uh, a spasm of the intercostal muscles, the muscles that exist in between ribs. But anytime you have pain on the left side of your chest and that's not going away, it comes with other symptoms, that's a, an emergent call that you have to make to a, a medical professional. Okay, we have an individual who's doing uh, a glute exercise of some kind. Yeah, um, no. There's better ways to do this. Just do like a split squat, a Bulgarian split squat. That hyperlordosis of the lumbar spine is gonna cause an ache down the line. Let me take a picture. Oh, the baby's getting an x-ray. So in order That's to get a proper x-ray, you need the child to sit still. And unless the child's asleep or sedated, you're gonna have to put them in one of these tubes to get a really clear x-ray. Oh, that's crazy. Y'all ain't no babies get x-rays. You're gonna have to put them in one of these tubes to get a really clear x-ray. <laughs> That's very true. Also, there's a lot of uh, ingredients within food that have long names that aren't actually bad for you at all. In fact, you can talk about some common foods and make. Why is it your grocery? I'm talking about Walmart. I ain't know. Second, it sound like it's something terrible. I remember there was this old Penn and Teller skit. Can I get you guys to sign a petition banning dihydrogen monoxide causes huh? excessive sweating, Wolf excessive water? urination? That's dihydrogen monoxide. Eating an orange, the shower will help decrease anxiety and depression while boosting your overall mood due to the citrus aroma. This is a big trend on TikTok. What is the trend? Eating an orange in the shower? Why? Whether you eat the orange in yeah, the shower, come up with this stuff on TikTok, the shower, man? the effects will not change. <laughs> if you like citrus aroma, put, post it on use TikTok. some citrus soap, oh, this get a citrus air freshener. <laughs> My day as an influencer in the 1600s, okay? Drinking water, tend to the fire, hunt for evidence of witches, <laughs> die of dysentery. Yeah, a lot of people used to die of things just like diarrhea. Can you imagine because we didn't have IVs? IV saline solution, like normal saline solution, has really saved lives by the millions. Not exaggerating. Oh, <laughs> oh my vertigo is kicking in hard here. Is this bungee jumping? It's skydiving. Oh my God. Oh my God. You know, bungee jumping just doesn't look healthy to me because once you Bro, get to the bar, obviously like, if the rope is too long, it's definitely not healthy. But if the rope is even the right length, that jolt that you get to your neck, like I feel like that can cause a lot of problems. Coconut oil, I mean lots. Okay, lots of coconut oil is high in saturated. It's good for your hair. Coconut oil is good for your hair. Fat. You mix it with some vitamin E. Will raise your cholesterol, which we know increases your risk of having heart disease and stroke. It is a remedy for Alzheimer's. Oh, it's a remedy for Alzheimer's. What's we Alzheimer's? in the medical community have that, zero arthritis? remedy for Alzheimer's. But this gentleman says coconut oil. So you just have to take the extract of coconut oil, which is MCT oil. No dosing, no people who this is good for, MCT not good for. Oil. I'm what? all for saying the pharma industry is bad and has so many problems. But at least they do safety profile testing. They give you indications who this is good for, who it's not good for. When someone just comes on and just says, this thing is good for this thing, no proof behind it, no dosing behind it, be hyper skeptical. In fact, this person's lying. MCT has ketones in it. With all the damage done to, to the brain through all this sugar and stress, the brain cells just aren't getting fuel and they die. There's little bits Brain of cells die after they stay with you forever until you die. Absolutely corrupted into the nonsense heck? word salad. I'm gonna snap to the nose. I'm gonna catch my Today's BBLs have to speak next slap somewhere. Guy, wake up. Gallbladder right here, not here. Cranium. I'm gonna reach in into the large and small intestine 18. <laughs> He has a BBL, he has surgery. Into the mandible, into the maxillary sinus. What are you sample for? This is full acting BS. He Yo, what are you slapping for? What happened? Out, you just slapped him out cold. The other people are in on it when they you just did what Draymond did to Jordan Poole. What are we watching? Oh, pitting What's this? Game. Why are you hitting your leg? This can go all the way from one plus to four plus. As you can see here, we use a grading scale. And there's different reasons why people have edema. A lot of times I'll see this in my patients who have congestive heart failure. So they have a buildup of fluid as a result of the increased pressure that the heart has to- You're making dots on yourself. What you doing? And not being able to pump as effectively. Trying to play connected oh, dots? I'm <laughs> looking at uh, after the, the, the day families are pushing feds to Pushing the feds to 
So it's interesting in situations like this where a person can't find the words to speak <coughs> it has been discussed as potential strokes. So I don't know what happened here. It's hard to say, but there's definitely slurring of speech, unable to find words. Sorry, Airman. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm not feeling very well right now, and I'm about to. Okay, well, come back to me right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, get her, to, get her to the hospital. Get her some help. Okay. Her pupils look blown. She looks like she's about to lose consciousness. For all we know, this could be a response to her being hypoglycemic and having low blood sugar. So, like, unclear what happened. I actually have a whole video right here of medical emergencies that happened to be caught by TV cameras. Check this out. You'll learn a lot. And Shout out to you, Dr. Mike.